The other day, my aunt sent me, well, sent my wife, a geometry problem. So I had a look at it. It was like this, just a simple triangle with some angles. You can see 20, you can see 30 degrees, 50 degrees, 60 degrees, 20 degrees. This is not the exact problem that my aunt sent, but it's, it's very similar. And the problem is to find this mystery angle X. And I thought, well, that's surely really easy. It'll be about five minutes work. So I had a crack. So you can start by, for example, filling in some angles here. You can see here, there's a triangle here, 50, 60. The angles have to add up to 180, so that's 70 degrees. And therefore that's 70 degrees as well. And then here's a straight line. This angle has to be 110 degrees. Oh, up the top, that must be 20 degrees because you've got 80 here and 80 here. Again, you've got a triangle must add up to 180 degrees. There's another triangle. So that's 50 degrees, 110 here. So this is 40 degrees. And you can work out this angle, but then you get a bit stuck. And I thought, well, this is obviously a bit harder than I expected. So, I mean, what do you do after that? You still don't know the value of x. Now, there's one thing that you can find out, one, one additional thing that's, that's going to be really useful. But before I go on, you should pause the video right here. Pause the video and have a try at solving this problem yourself. Try to find this angle x. Okay, pause the video, bookmark it, and pause. Have a go now. So you had a go? You had a proper go at solving the problem? I'm going to show you how to do it. So, the first thing that's really useful is here we have this triangle here is an isosceles triangle. It's got a 20 degree angle here, another one here. And so what that means is if we drop a perpendicular here. If we drop a perpendicular here, it's going to bisect this angle here. So let me draw that in. I'll just draw the perpendicular bisector of, of this. Uh, I'll, I'll draw the bisector of this isosceles triangle right now. There it is. And so we know this is a right angle. And this is 70 degrees. We still don't know what x is. We still don't know. So what do we do next? Well, it's really useful to actually make a copy of this whole puzzle. So if I reflect this whole puzzle through this, through this edge here, now there's another identical triangle to the one before with the same puzzle drawn in it, but I've only drawn a couple of lines really darkly. These are the only two that we're really interested in. Now, what you'll see is this line here is the reflection of this, this bisector here. And it looks like it joins, it looks like it's the same line as this. Now, is it? Well, maybe I just drew the picture badly. Maybe it's not actually a straight line, just really, really close. So that's what we have to find out. Is this line really the same as this line? Let me draw in these angles here. So, that's a right angle. That's 70 degrees. And so on. So, we need to figure out whether this really is, whether this is the same straight line. So, what we'll do to do that, we'll make another copy of the same triangle over here with, again, the same puzzle drawn in. And you see, again, I've highlighted one of the lines of the original puzzle. So let's draw some angles there as well. Okay. 
So we still don't know whether this line and this line and this line are just one line or if they're three different lines. They could be either. They could be three different lines. Just a funny zigzag there. Definitely this is the same point and this is the same point. So let's fill in the angles we know from this puzzle. We know that this is 20 degrees. That's not so important. The important one we really need is this 30 degrees, which is now reflected over here. I'll draw that in. Red. That's 30 degrees. Okay. The other thing we know is the angles at the top of the triangle, they're all 20 degrees. And so this whole thing, this whole thing is 60 degrees here. This is a great big 60 degrees. And so what that means is, if you've got a 60 degree angle and this edge is the same as this edge, well, that means you've got an equilateral triangle here. Not only have you got an equilateral triangle here, but this 30 degrees chops the triangle into two pieces. This is also the perpendicular bisector of this edge. So this is the perpendicular bisector of this edge. But this is also the perpendicular bisector of this edge. And so what that means is this red line and this red line are exactly the same line. So this whole thing joins up. It really is one straight line. I don't know if you can see that. I mean, it looks straight, but again, just looking straight doesn't prove it's straight. It actually looks a bit zigzag, doesn't it? That also doesn't prove it's not straight. Anyway, so now we know that this is one great big straight line. So that's, we're well on the way to solving the puzzle now. So here's what we do next. I know that's 30 degrees. This is one great big straight line. So every, so, here we've got a triangle, there's 20 degrees and 30 degrees. This, because that's 20 and that's 30, and this is one straight line, that must be 50. And likewise, this is 70. There's 20 and 50, and that's one great big straight line, that must be 70. But we don't need that. What we've got now is we can fold these copies away if we like, because... Now we've got all the angles we need in, in the original puzzle. Thanks to these copies, we could work out that this is a 50 degree angle. Because that's 50 degrees, and that's 50 degrees, this is 80 degrees. And finally, we can work out what x is. That's just 30 degrees. And that's how you solve this puzzle. Anyway. Now that I've showed you how to solve this puzzle, wait a minute, let me, let me just uh, rub off all this first, okay? So, now you know how to solve this geometry problem, why don't you have a crack at the one my aunt originally sent me, which is this. You can see it's a very similar puzzle, just the angles are a bit different. Have a go. And if you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want more puzzles and things like this, drop over to my website, Google Dr. Mike's Math Games for Kids. Look for the newsletter and subscribe. Hope to see you soon.